Hi, David here from Dave McCracken SEO. I welcome to today's video. It's about measuring and tracking to maximize SEO success. And is the final part 11 of SEO Beginner's Guide. Measuring and tracking to maximize SEO success can be provided by a range of sophisticated tools. They provide a roadmap of visits, the reasons for the visit, and where they have come from. By using measurement and tracking tools, the information highlights the strengths and weaknesses of your website and its page content. All websites can benefit from the knowledge, but it can take considerable time in setting up the tools, monitoring, evaluating and taking action to maximize your website performance. An increase in website performance gains more visits and customers, which leads to increased sales. This system will not suit all, but for the professional website owner who wants to see online success and sales growth should implement these measures and tracking controls. Firstly, let's look at the tools for measuring and tracking. As I see it, there is no complete tool that covers all phases of measuring and tracking, as all search engines have a slightly different position in how SEO is implemented. If you take on board a number of systems, you will be swamped with data that may be duplicate or in conflict. Here are my recommendations. Firstly, Google Analytics. As Google is 60 to 90% of all search, it will have the greatest influence. The free version provides a huge amount of data, but the premium will provide more at a cost. Two, StatPress Visitors. It's a WordPress plugin. It is free and provides an alternate perspective to Google Analytics. Third one is Moz Analytics, a subscription service. Provides a complete unbiased information alongside a number of other specific metric information. Secondly, recommended metric to track. Firstly, we look at Google Analytics, where your traffic comes from. It's either by direct navigation, by typing in your website, or from bookmark links. Referral traffic, links from social media. Organic search in answer to keywords typed into a search engine. Two, search engine referrals. Worldwide, approximately 80% comes from Google search, and the balance comes from all other search engines, and it is country dependent. Any drop in results or performance needs to be investigated and look for tactics to reverse the trend. Thirdly, visitor referrals by different search engines. Visitor demographics and variation to search engine algorithms provide some differences. Therefore, the ranking results will vary between all the search engines. You also need to understand that ranking position changes with time. Conversion rate by search. What keywords are working and what rate and what are not. What aspects of SEOs work better. Five, page visits. What are the popular pages people are visiting the most? Pages of no or low visits need to be refreshed with quality content. Consider deleting ineffective pages. Thirdly, applying data to your website. Understand a new website with little history or data is going to have wild fluctuations in page ranking until you gain some authority and trust by building your brand with quality content. In time, search engines will give your website a trust status. 
Blogging with quality content is a great way to add keyword indexes and gain that authority. It may take 6 to 12 months of regular content to start levelling out your results. The more blogs the better. Weekly is best if you wish to build your brand and gain more visitors in a shorter period. Ensure to add high value quality content in answer to people's popular questions. To find out what popular keyword people are using, make use of Google AdWords and Google Trends. Build your blog posts with the best and the latest SEO practices. Summarising Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO. This is my take on measuring and tracking to maximise SEO success in Chapter 10 of the Moz's Beginner's Guide to SEO. I would like to think I have simplified and added understanding for beginners. This is the end of the series and I would like to thank the Moz organisation for one of the most respected SEO consulting companies worldwide who have been the guide on this journey. In conclusion, measuring and tracking to maximise SEO success can be provided by a range of sophisticated tools. They provide a roadmap of visits, the reason for the visit and where they have come from. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been useful for you. Should you require more information, please contact me. That's all for today's video. Bye for now. Until next time, David.